Hello, how can I help you today? There is currently no definitive evidence one way or the other as to whether or not we are alone in the universe. The possibility of the existence of extraterrestrial life, or aliens, is a topic of much scientific and popular interest. Many scientists believe that it is possible that there may be other life forms in the universe, given the vastness of space and the numerous planets that exist beyond our own. However, no definitive proof of the existence of aliens has been found, and it is not known whether or not such life forms would be similar to life on Earth or radically different. The search for extraterrestrial life and the exploration of other planets and moons in our own solar system and beyond is an active field of scientific research. The existence of a higher power, or a god, is a matter of belief and faith, and different individuals and cultures have different beliefs and perspectives on this topic. Some people believe in a specific deity or deities, while others believe in a more general higher power or spiritual force. Still others do not believe in any higher power at all. There is no scientific evidence that conclusively proves or disproves the existence of a god or higher power, and it is ultimately a matter of personal belief and faith. The concept of what happens after we die is a subject of much speculation and belief, and different cultures and belief systems have their own ideas about the afterlife. Some believe in an afterlife or a continuation of the soul in some form, while others do not believe in an afterlife at all. There is no scientific evidence that definitively proves what happens after we die, and it is ultimately a matter of personal belief and faith. Some people find comfort in the belief in an afterlife, while others find peace in accepting that death is a natural part of life and that the consciousness and individual identity of a person come to an end at death. The current scientific understanding is that the universe is infinite, or at least extremely large. The concept of the universe as infinite has been around for centuries, and it is supported by a number of observations and theories in modern cosmology. For example, the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is thought to be remnants of the Big Bang, appears to be the same in every direction, suggesting that the universe is homogeneous and potentially infinite. Additionally, the fact that we can see distant galaxies and quasars that are billions of light years away suggests that the universe is vast and possibly infinite. However, it is important to note that our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving, and there are still many mysteries and questions that remain to be explored and answered. The exact origins of life on Earth are still not fully understood, and it is a subject of much scientific research and speculation. There are several theories about how life on Earth may have emerged, but no single theory has been widely accepted as the definitive explanation. One of the most widely accepted theories is that life on Earth began through a process called abiogenesis, in which simple organic molecules formed and eventually organized themselves into the first living cells. According to this theory, the Earth's early environment, which was rich in chemical compounds such as water, methane, and ammonia, may have provided the necessary ingredients for the formation of these simple organic molecules. It is thought that these molecules may have combined and undergone chemical reactions that led to the formation of more complex molecules, such as proteins and DNA. Other theories about the origins of life on Earth involve the idea that life may have formed through the influence of external factors, such as comets carrying the necessary ingredients for life or the transfer of life from other planets. However, these theories are less widely accepted and are still being investigated. Overall, it is clear that the emergence of life on Earth was a complex and multifaceted process that is not fully understood, and further research is needed to fully understand the origins of life on our planet. 
Time travel, in the sense of traveling to the past or future, is not currently possible according to our current understanding of the laws of physics. While time travel has been a popular subject in science fiction and popular culture, there is no scientific evidence to support the idea that it is possible to travel through time. In physics, time is understood to be a fundamental aspect of the universe, and it is described by the theory of relativity. According to this theory, the flow of time is relative and depends on the observer's frame of reference. This means that time appears to pass at different rates for objects in different states of motion or in different gravitational fields. However, this phenomenon does not allow for the possibility of actual time travel. While some physicists have proposed theories that might allow for the possibility of time travel in the future, such as the concept of wormholes, these ideas are purely theoretical and have not been supported by any scientific evidence. Until there is more concrete evidence to support the possibility of time travel, it remains a topic of speculation and scientific inquiry. There are several theories about how the universe may come to an end, but it is difficult to say with certainty what the ultimate fate of the universe will be. One possibility is that the universe will continue to expand forever, eventually becoming too diffuse and dilute to sustain the formation of new stars and galaxies. This scenario, known as the Big Freeze, would result in the universe becoming colder and darker over time, as the remaining stars and galaxies eventually exhaust their fuel and die out. Another possibility is that the expansion of the universe will eventually slow down and reverse, leading to a big crunch in which the universe collapses back in on itself in a massive contraction. This scenario is similar to the Big Bang, which is thought to be the event that marked the beginning of the current expansion of the universe. It is also possible that the expansion of the universe will continue at a steady pace and that the universe will exist in a state of eternal expansion. In this scenario, the universe would continue to expand, but it would not experience a big freeze or a big crunch. It is important to note that these scenarios are based on current scientific understanding, and our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. There may be other possible fates for the universe that are not yet known or that cannot be predicted with our current understanding of the laws of physics. The concept of the Big Bang Theory suggests that the universe as we know it began with a singularity, a point in space and time where the density and temperature of the universe were infinitely high. Prior to this singularity, the laws of physics as we know them break down, and our current understanding of the universe does not allow us to make predictions about what may have existed. One possibility is that the universe as we know it is just one phase in an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction, and that the Big Bang was not the beginning of everything but rather the beginning of a new phase in this cycle. In this scenario, there may have been previous phases of the universe, each with its own singularity and set of physical laws. Another possibility is that the universe as we know it is just one region of a larger multiverse, and that the Big Bang marked the beginning of our particular region of the multiverse. In this case, there may be other regions of the multiverse with their own physical laws and histories. It is important to note that these ideas are purely theoretical and have not been supported by any scientific evidence. They are areas of active research and debate among scientists and philosophers, and it is not currently known what, if anything, existed before the Big Bang. The exact function of dreaming is not fully understood, and there are several theories about why we dream. One theory is that dreaming is a way for the brain to process and consolidate memories and experiences from the day. According to this theory, during sleep, the brain is able to process and organize information from the day in a more efficient way, which may help to improve learning and memory. 
Another theory is that dreaming is a way for the brain to work through and resolve unresolved emotional or psychological issues. Dreams may provide a safe and imaginative space for the brain to process and work through complex emotions and experiences. A third theory is that dreaming serves as a way for the brain to practice and rehearse for future challenges and events. During sleep, the brain may simulate different scenarios and situations which may help to prepare the individual for real-life situations. Overall, it is likely that dreaming serves multiple functions and that the importance of dreaming may vary from person to person. While the exact purpose of dreaming is still not fully understood, it is clear that it plays an important role in our overall well-being and mental health. The question of which came first, the chicken or the egg, is a classic paradox that has puzzled people for centuries. The answer to this question depends on one's definition of a chicken and an egg. If we define a chicken as a bird that is capable of laying eggs, then the egg must have come first, since the chicken would have had to come from an egg. However, if we define a chicken as a bird that is the offspring of another chicken, then the chicken must have come first, since the egg would have had to come from a chicken. In a broader sense, the question of which came first, the chicken or the egg, highlights the idea that many natural phenomena and events are interconnected and may be interdependent, and that it can be difficult to determine the ultimate cause or origin of a particular event or thing. You're welcome. I'm here to help answer your questions to the best of my ability. Thank you for your kind words. Is there anything else you would like to know?